welcome to The Kelly Roach Show, a place for no fluff, easy to implement, 20 minute or less business and leadership lessons to help you build a sustainable business that scales. Let's get started. Welcome back. Today we're digging in and we're going to talk about how to build an army of referral partners to sell for you. So as I've been sharing with you all in this referral based companies, companies that have a strong referral program tend to grow 86% more over a two year period than companies that do not. Companies that have a strong referral program tend to be able to weather the storms of economic change and market shifts better than the average company because referrals do not start and stop based on these outside indicators. I mean, it's obvious, right? So there's a reason why I want each and every one of my listeners to make a referral marketing system a core part of your 2024 strategy. Okay, so as I mentioned already, there are three different ways that you can build an army of referral partners for your business. And actually, I'm focusing in on three ways that I personally know and that I personally can recommend, but I'm sure there are so many ways beyond this. Okay, as you all know, we are kicking off the advanced live experience literally at 12 p.m. Eastern today. So if you are listening to this podcast on the day that it's released, today is November 7th. I want to make sure at 12 p.m. Eastern that you're going to be live with me at the advanced experience. And today what we're going to be doing is a 90-minute masterclass on exactly what we're here to talk about today, but we're going to go even deeper into specific strategies. So first of all, I want you to close your eyes and imagine this for just a moment. Most people that run service-based businesses move from one-to-one to to -to one-to-many. And a lot of you have programs that are $10,000, $15,000, $20,000, and on upward right? But if we're talking about a program, even let's just say averaging $20,000, whether it be something that you deliver one-to-one or something that is a high-ticket group coaching program, you only need 50 new customers to grow your business by a million dollars this next year. 50 customers. You can absolutely get 50 pre-qualified referrals from people that already know, like, and trust you and have people come into your business already pre-sold by someone other than you. All it takes is intention, focus, and a committed strategy. And you're not bearing all the risk. I see so many entrepreneurs that literally max out their credit cards trying to test, quote unquote, new strategies, funnels, viral hacking strategies, YouTube. I mean, the list goes on and on. I see entrepreneurs every day lose their shorts on strategies that have big promises but are very difficult to implement. And the chances of success for the average entrepreneur are very low. Why I'm obsessed with referral marketing is that it's something we can all do. It's proven. It's time tested. It's going to work now and forevermore. Okay, so coming back to my last point, you only need 50 new customers at an average of $20,000 to add a million dollars to your business. And the big difference between how you're going to get to those 50 customers with referrals versus how you're going to get to those 50 customers with general marketing is massive. There is a canyon of difference because referrals close 5, 10, 15 times a higher rate than general leads that are produced from your online marketing. Why? Because obviously when you're doing online marketing, you're tapping into the general public, which means by default, probably 95% of the leads that you're getting are not qualified. Whereas if you follow the steps that I talked about in the last episode, then you have a really clear templated plan and one page overview that is helping anyone who's going to be a referral partner of yours to have absolute clarity on the type of people that they should be bringing to you. They're hand selected. There's a reason why they're introducing you and chances are you're going to have a significantly higher close rate. Now, why is this so important? Because in the last few years, the record number of entrepreneurs that have had mental health and physical health problems as it relates to just overall burnout in their businesses is unacceptable, quite frankly. 
And most entrepreneurs need new strategies going into the new year where they can work less and earn more because it's about time, right? This is what referral marketing does for you because if you implement strategies in your business that are five or 10 or 100 times more effective than other things that you could be doing with that time, obviously it's going to take less hours to produce the same result. That's why I just walked you through this whole thing. When you do the actual math, when you really take the time to think about what you're doing and you know that you're trying to get another 50 customers on average add a million dollars to your business, you could achieve 50 referral sales with 100 qualified referral leads. Whereas in order to get 50 sales from general marketing that is just from advertising or from organic lead gen online, you might need 1,000, 2,000 leads online, right, depending on your close rate. So as you can see, the number one way that you're going to work less and earn more is going to be through efficiency. And referral marketing is going to literally 10x the efficiency of your sales activities, whether it's you personally or it's going to be your team, okay? So when you think about this, what's so, so cool is – You can have student ambassadors that literally take calls during launch and get, you know, some type of bonus or fee or, you know, credit to their account um, when people join. And, And of course, you disclose this. You follow all legal guidelines. You have to consult with a lawyer. I always remind you all. Um, of that with any of the strategies that I'm recommending. But a lot of people have an army of their own students helping to close people uh, inside and outside of launch by once again leveraging that psychological principle that, you know, when someone else is recommending you, it's going to be far more effective and likely uh, to produce an outcome than when you're recommending yourself, right? So One strategy that you can use is by employing your own customers. Now, you might say, my own customers are looking to build their own career. They're looking to build their own business. They're busy. Why would they do this for me? Well, number one, because they love you. Your customers that love you will do this for you. We have customers volunteer. I am not kidding. We have people volunteer to come on our launches, volunteer to write us testimonials, volunteer to do video testimonials for us all the time. Why? Because we change their freaking lives. That's why. Your customers will do this for you, whether you pay them or not, because they love you. So strategy one is you can actually invite your customers to be student ambassadors of your program, and you can either compensate them, you can give them credits to their account, they can earn off their membership. Again, you need legal guidance on this. You have to follow all state and federal regulations based on the country, state, et cetera, that you live in. But you get the principle, okay? So that's number one. Number two, you can use your six degrees of separation with your customers to give them assets for any workshop, any webinar, any live stream, any live launch, any consultation link that you do and give them a very simple template to share the results that they've gotten working with you and then invite people that are in their communities uh, to also, you know, just comment down below if they're interested. We have gotten hundreds and hundreds of referrals from our customers, audiences, just by them sharing their results in a single post online. That's number two, okay? There's so many ways you can do this, you guys. It is absolutely insane. And again, what I love, costs you nothing, okay? Um, So you can have your customers share externally. You can have your customers talk to leads that you already have internally. There are lots of people out there. They don't even employ a sales team. They have their own customers be ambassadors um, inside of launches or whatever the case, right? We talked in the last podcast episode about like having a toolkit, templates, resources to give to them. That's all you have to do is feed them. They'll do it because they love you. They'll do it because they can pay off their membership. They'll do it because they can earn extra income. They'll do it because there's a heck of a lot of people out there that have run this race for a while and actually love making income on the front end of the sale and not have to do the servicing on the back end. That is another huge reason why people will happily promote on the front end and get a portion, a small portion of a fee for it versus getting the whole thing because they don't have to service it. And you guys that have been in the service-based world for a while, you know exactly what I'm talking about, okay? Also, strategic networks. So for me, I am a part of a strategic network 
I have Danielle in another strategic network. We obviously acquired a strategic network that I was an initial startup investor in. I was a behind the scenes silent investor in the advanced network. I acquired it last December. Now I'm full owner. I'm all in on it. I'm building it into the number one global network for entrepreneurial innovation, collaboration, and elevation. It is all about bringing leaders of all walks of life together to build referral networks, to do collaborations, to fill visibility calendars, and to build the town square again. We need local for local entrepreneurial meetups in every city and town around the world where we can do business together again. People miss human connection, it's unbelievably valuable. As AI continues to rise, human connection and the currency of human connection is going to become even greater. I want to pause for one moment here. Today at 12 p.m. Eastern, we are live for the masterclass of all masterclasses. Three ways. Myself, Danielle, and Ty are going to be teaching you how to build an army of referral partners. We're going to go through each of the three core strategies. We're going to give you an action plan. We're going to walk you through how you can make it happen. And by the way, If you need a strategic network to plug into, to meet other leaders, to build your referral pipeline, to learn how to do this strategy, the advance is for you. And I'll also put a link in the show notes down below if you want to actually apply to become a member of the Advanced Innovation Society. The Advance is a collaboration and innovation network. We hold bi-weekly virtual sessions for collaboration, for uh, networking, and for visibility exchanges. But then in addition to that, we have local meetups around the globe that happen. Our hub is here in Florida. So every month in Florida, we have a robust meetup group. And everyone in the Advance is welcome to come join us at any time. Who doesn't want to come to beautiful, gorgeous, waterfront Florida. So you can come join our hub in Florida as an advanced member, or you can inquire about the local meetups that are near you. And even if there isn't a location near you yet, you can get started with us and you can help us kick off that location near you. And there's all sorts of incentives and support and resources uh, to do that. But one way or another, if you want to expand referral networking this year, you're looking for a way to do that, definitely check out the advance. But for me, the way that I've always gotten business from being a part of other strategic networks is with one single strategy. And the single strategy is add as much value as humanly possible for as many people as humanly possible every time you interact, period. I never pitch, I never poach, I never go after members, and I never sell. Those are the four rules of strategic collaboration at a high level. But when you go into every interaction, you say, I'm going to add as much value for as many people as humanly possible, and you don't ask for anything, the law of reciprocity kicks in, and those people want to do something in return. And so they ask you, how do I, you know, how do I learn about what you do? How do I connect? How do I learn more? You know, so on and so forth. So strategic collaboration networks are absolutely awesome if you want to build a referral pool outside of just your customers. And I recommend that if you're going to use that strategy that you have like three to five organizations that you're going to tap into in order to do that of course the advance can be one of them and then of course once you get into other courses and masterminds and groups and you have clients and you have peers you can do external affiliate and strategic partnership marketing where you identify you know three to five people that have the same market that you do you do joint collaborations all throughout the year they support you you support them and once again you're able to tap into all these different markets that have the same profile of the same avatar which is going to then have that person leverage their credibility their trust, you know, their relationship with that audience to then get people to jump on board with you. There's so much more to share. I can't cover it all here now, but all I can say is make sure you do not miss 12 p.m. Eastern today. Come and join the masterclass. And then there's two other sessions happening on Wednesday and Thursday. Looking forward to seeing you all there. Click the link below to join and I'll see you on the next episode. 